don't know about you, but in our household, weekends are... God, I'm gonna sound like I'm sending women back about 50 years, but... So Saturday, I, I don't know why, I always end up doing about three or four loads of washing. And inevitably, because Alex cycles every day, there are mounds of um, cycling kit that need to be washed. And then Sunday, Sundays are meal prep days because it's easier to have everything ready to go for the week and kind of have an idea about what you're making instead of every single day being like, what do I need, what am I cooking? So I try and spend some of Sunday just looking at what recipes I'm gonna make for the week ahead and then getting them sorted. So I thought this would be fun to film. Welcome to the first instalment of Meal Prep Sundays. I'm hoping this will be a regular thing. Just to reiterate, it doesn't, it doesn't have to be the woman that does this. I just do it because I, out of the two of us, enjoy cooking more and I have more time. If I was working full time, Alex is working full time, we would split the load, but uh, I have more time. I am at home more, so um, yeah, I do the majority of our cooking and I'm not, uh, I'm not embarrassed about that. I don't think it's something to be um, ashamed of or, or feel that I'm less of a, feminist or less uh, less career orientated. This is just the way our life has fallen at the moment. Um, so like anything, you make the most of it. Uh, but yeah, meal prep Sundays, let's hit it. First things first, I'm going to roast up a whole lot of roast vegetables. They are so versatile, use them in everything. And if you are like us and you need a certain amount of protein and carbs and fats per meal, Roast veggies are one of the most versatile things you can make. Oh, There's a long held view of mine that one can never, ever have too many potatoes. I love potatoes. Honestly, again, probably the most versatile vegetable. Think of everything you can do with a potato. But we'll give them a little rinse. And then actually realize for my entire 30 years that a lot of vegetables don't come pre-washed. I mean, these are obviously washed but it doesn't hurt to give them another little sprinkle. And I thought actually I've been okay my entire life without washing vegetables. I've never managed to get um, sick. The only time I've had food poisoning was in Thailand where I made the mistake of thinking that buying sushi from a street vendor was fine. Um, to be honest, street vendors actually in Asia you can get really good food at, um, but I would stick to stuff that's been cooked. <laughs> Sushi, I don't know how long had been sitting out for, but I I thought I was dying. It was the, the worst illness I think I've ever had. Luckily, we're traveling with a nurse, um, a really good friend of mine, who got to a point where she was like looking at my insurance policy, because we were in um, the outskirts of Chiang Mai and she was like, I'm gonna have to get a helicopter in or something because I need to get her to, I couldn't keep anything down. I was so dehydrated. Um, but you know, character building. <laughs> but when it comes to vegetables, better to be safe than sorry. This is a lot of potato. This is a lot of potato, but I'm confident I'll get through it. Carrots, sweet potato. Capsicum, gotta have your token green on the tray. Inevitably, I've set out to do what I've always done, which is overflow the tray. But it's all good, it'll still cook. So, douse it. <laughs> douse it, douse it in um, olive oil. And a bit of salt and pepper. And we're good to go. I'd be scared of putting the olive oil on. Don't be scared of making a mess. The kitchen is not a tidy place until the very end. I'm gonna make the quinoa now. I feel like a bit of a cheat because I'm using the thermo mix. But quinoa, I think a lot of people get put off using quinoa because they think it's tricky to cook. But um, I think the key is to rinse it well before you put it in. Chuck it in the, in the saucepan. Why do I keep calling it a pan? It's pot. Chuck it in the pot. Cover it with water. 
and then turn the heat down to just um, to let it steam for 15 minutes. I think that's what the Thermomix does. So yeah, it's just it, that makes life so much easier. But we're gonna we're gonna make bulk make quinoa because I use it um, for quite a, quite a few different things. So I'm cooking up 400 grams of quinoa, which is quite a lot. I'm just gonna rinse this off. I'll probably put about 800 grams of water. Two stock cubes, just to give it a little bit of flavor. And then we sit and forget. While that's cooking, I'm gonna try my hand at baked oats. I've actually never made baked oats, but they're all the rage on Instagram at the moment. Kind of the follow through from banana bread, I feel. We've got plenty of yogurt in the fridge, so I feel like it might be a good breakfast option. I'm also talking really quickly because I get really nervous when I hold the camera this close. And then I always look back on the footage and I'm like, oh! Um, anyway, quinoa's cooking, veggies are in the oven. Let's get this oat bake done. Basically just oats, flaxseed, maybe a little bit of brown sugar. Um, but I feel like that will be a good breakfast alternative to our staple of porridge or toaster. Actually, Alex often has a smoothie, just a really massive loaded smoothie. Um, I'm quite a fan of Marmite on toast, that's my go-to for breakfast, but none of that, none of that awful English Marmite. No, it's gotta be that New Zealand sanitarium black tar Marmite. Don't at me, it's the best. Um, so this I feel like will be a good carby start to the day. Uh, maybe served with a, a dollop of yogurt or it'll be a good post ride snack. Looks good enough. Seems straightforward enough. Oh, three cups of oats. It's four tablespoons of flaxseed, flax meal, ground flaxseed. This will do. Oh, look who's home. One and a half teaspoon of baking powder, teaspoon of ginger. Crack the salt. Look who just came home. How was that? Yeah, I'm good. It's all right on the eighth though. Huh? It's all right on the eighth. Okay. He didn't recognize me. Yeah, incognito. You look a bit cooked. I don't feel horrible. Oh. It's just like one of those days where, to be fair, I haven't had many of them where the body was like, I was like, yeah, let's go. And my body was just like, no, oh, I don't think so. I felt it on the turbo this morning as well, to be fair. No, uh, just everything was a bit more of a struggle than it should be, but that was meant to be, what, three to eight hours. Oh, there you go. Well, you've interrupted meal prep Sundays. Okay, so then I'll let you get back to it. Sorry. Rice milk, two cups or any milk. Give it all a stir. Put a bit of the agave syrup in. Six tablespoons, that's quite a bit. When? Yes. When? Tonight. Wait, what? So we do need to take that one? Huh? Yeah, we'll rustle something up. Well, we'll rustle something up. I will provide moral support. So I think we can pretty much, should we bring a salad? Yeah. What kind of salad though? Have we got means to bring a salad? Last but not least, mushroom stroganoff. Or it's actually just kind of a mushroom bake or saute, if you will, but easy to throw over rice or pasta. So we'll call it a stroganoff. Or you could actually eat it on its own. Again, I'm gonna cheat a little bit on this and the thermomix is actually gonna cut that for me. But I will cut the mushrooms, which definitely need to be washed.
Mushrooms are chopped, onion and garlic is sauteing away. I'm gonna pop the mushrooms in and let them sort of juice away for about five minutes. All right, mushrooms are cooking away. Quinoa is ready, roast vegetables are just about to come out. I've got to make the stroganoff sauce now, so I'm popping together um, one cup of vegetable broth, one cup of non-dairy milk, and a quarter of a cup of flour. Get that all mixed up. Oatmeal bake should be just about ready to come out, and then we're probably gonna wrap it up because I've got to make a salad for dinner tonight. So we're going, uh, we're going out to a neighbor's place. If you could smell through the camera, you would smell a lot of delicious garlic and just let that simmer away and I'm now going to put in the stroganoff broth. Got a couple of lumps, but it'll be sorted out when it's cooking. And a wee dollop of uh, vegan cream cheese. Keep it all dairy free. Well, there you have it. This potato face has cooked all of the potatoes. So we've got the oatmeal bake, which is looking pretty good. Quinoa salad numero uno, quinoa salad which Alex will eat now for lunch, some leftover roast veg, a mixed up vinaigrette which will last for these two salads and beyond, some quinoa which I'll probably put into some bars later on this week, um, or wrap up another salad, and some mushroom stroganoff which will last a good couple of meals, so either on rice or mixed as, mixed as a pasta sauce. Now I gotta do a grocery shop tomorrow because I've emptied out the fridge. But meal prep Sundays, it's a thing. See you next week.